man. Oh, get out of there. Take me to Castle Gardens. Hey, you stupid or something? You don't have to tell me twice. Yeah, that's gotta hurt. of our justice system. But he put me in a wheelchair, and I've got to save the world in the next half hour, including commercials. I'm tired of your fake sob stories. How am I supposed to believe you lost your legs? Now we'll run out of here, Lieutenant, before I push you down the stairs myself. All packed together with the incredible excitement of a game show. Okay, you have ten seconds to tell the truth, or you'll be set on fire. This isn't fair! <laughs> well, welcome to American Justice, lady. Ah! This is Just or Unjust with Judge Grady. World of radio justice, real plaintiffs and defendants in a radio court of law. Today we've got Allen versus Davis, case 465. Okay, I read your opening statements. Let's get going. Before me is LeVar Davis and Angela Allen. You two My wife, shoes and handbag. That's all she cares about. To fix damages to her car you did with a baseball bat? Mr. Davis, can you explain yourself? Your Honor, that female is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like the truth to me. Court is adjourned. Hey, you're not even gonna hear my side of it? Oh, well, shit. We got some time to kill, why not? Approach the bench, Miss Allen. Okay, sure. yes, Your Honor. Well, now, sit that's on my what lap. I tell Derek. Um, okay. There, there, isn't that better? Now tell uh, me what, what happened to you, baby, while I struck your man. Well, I was together with LeVar for a year and he started acting real crazy. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, shh, woman, woman, shh, calm down. I'm fine, soothing fine. you. It's part of the legal process. Now, Mr. Davis. Yes, Judge Grady. I mean, we were together for a while. She was fine. She carries herself well. She's got big uh, uh, if you know what I mean. She sure does. Hey, I'm feeling no it right now. Hold still, bro. But she's evil and a cheater. She scratched my brand new truck. I needed a truck because I'm an accountant. Is that so? You scratched his truck? His new accountancy truck? The kind of truck a man who works in an office buys so he can feel like a man again? What kind of woman scratches a man's truck? That's his manhood you're scratching. The very essence of his masculinity. He sits outside my house all times of the night. He's out there in the morning watching me. I go to the store, he's peering at me through Sprunk bottles on aisle seven. I'm not a stalker, Your Honor. Not after my last conviction. I'm just trying to get some information. These are fact-finding missions. What kind of information? Uh, like who she's screwing so I can kill him. You see, Your Honor? He's psychotic. He's... What is hey, that? What's that? What are you touching? Why are you touching my hair? It sure is lovely. So tell me, Mr. Davis, what did you do? I went Here to we are. Place Thank you very much. Yoga class. Meditated. Would you shut the fuck up, man? What's wrong with you? Whoa, yo, yo, easy, amigo. I'm just pleased to see you. Yeah? Come on, baby. Give me some skin. Come on. What are you doing here? Well, you know, it's my father, uh... Hey, you know, my ancestors, we built the pyramids, baby. We built the ziggurats. <laughs> we invented math and shit. I'm here. I'm not afraid. I get my hands dirty. Well, I can work. Whatever, man. How's it going? Oh. Epic, homie. This shit is epic. People write a babble about this shit in the future, baby. I'm talking luxury on a whole new level. This place is going to be so expensive, people won't even be able to afford it. <laughs> it's going to be drowned in gold. You know, it's like, uh, yo, yo, yo. Is that a diamond in your pocket? You just pleased to see me and shit. <laughs> Whoa, man. You know, the sales sheet is going to say, ah, the impossible dream. Priceless indulgence. Style by Yusuf Amir. A timeless classic. Timeless classic! Yeah, sounds perfect, man. Just what the people want right now. But what are you doing here? Psh. I'm crafting this whole thing with my bare hands. Okay, cool, man. Listen, it was good catching up with you, okay? I'll, I'll see you soon. Yeah, not so fast, homie. Yo, could you uh, give me a ride to my helicopter? I can tell you something along the way. But I thought you was busy building the pyramids. Yo, all work and no play makes use of a dull boy. Come on, baby, it'll be fun. Head out to the east side of the Algonquin Bridge, my dude. You 
ship, bro. And there was some more exploding shotgun shells. Love those things, man. What you after this time, man? I got you that tank thing and the chopper. What now? You want the Statue of Happiness for your backyard? An excellent idea, my friend. But that will have to wait. All right, then. What are we after? Wait for it. I'm waiting. You ready? Just fucking tell me, bro. A motherfucking subway train. Oh, yeah, baby. The prize of the fleet. The ass fucking flagship of the LTA. Give it up! What you want a subway train for? We're taking that shit out to the Gulf for a new Liberty City theme development down there. Check this out. A genuine LTA submarine train. Get that shit going through a precious and delicate coral reef. Ah, perfect! Aside from how fucking dumb that sounds, how am I supposed to take that thing? Not going to be easy, dog. No one likes people fucking with their public transport in this paranoid age. Can't you just buy yourself a subway car, bro? No, man. Shit. We need the genuine article, the real deal. You think we could put the Amir name to anything but authentic shit? Yo, how am I supposed to pull this off? OK, we just need the front car of the train. You jump on board, you climb to the front, and you unhook the car. I'll handle all the rest. Be simple, man. I don't know why I hang out with you, bro. Because you fucking love this shit, Bobby. Ain't nothing like rolling with this Arabic bad boy. Is that and I'm going to put your clubs on the world stage. We'll have a lounge on the moon by the time we're done. For real. Yo, me. I can't believe I'm doing this. Believe it, baby. Fitch yourself. You ain't dreaming. This is no film. The city is our playground, homie. Get in position above the tracks, man. I'll see you soon.
Archer. Go relax and get down from there. Holy shit! Huh? North Holland, yo. Okay then, here we go. Trackify. Love just got a little easier to keep track of. Luis Lopez. What could you possibly have to say that I'd want to hear, Rock? Time to face the facts, Jack. Frankly, you're fucked. There's a rich Russian having a powwow with the old man about you and the fag. FYI, they ain't talking about handing you a special commendation. Well, what the fuck are me and Tho supposed to do about that? Let's leave the homo out of this for a minute. Meet me and Uncle Vincenzo in the public toilets in Middle Park. We gotta talk in person. Jesus, fuck, man! Car in broker. While it is believed that no civilian was on board the if missing you car say at the time so. it was taken, authorities still oh, urgently so seek its return. One city official had this to say. It's ridiculous. We're used to people painting graffiti on our subway cars, or using them as a venue for exposing themselves to women, or urinating on the seats. What we don't expect is someone to steal an entire train car. Following the case of the missing subway, this is... This whole town is turning to shit. You noticed that? In our nation's capital, President Lawton made a major promise to get down to action, responding to recent criticism that he is a show pony who is simply concerned with making sure he gets favorable media coverage. Mr. Lawton made an impassioned speech, promising immediate results. He's setting up a task force with a website and a bleeder page to ensure things happen quickly to get everything back on track in an all-out assault on government action. Then he looked compassionate but strong and promised to continue to improve the country, reduce taxes, punish foreigners, and increase government spending in most Fuck areas, it. but sensibly and with one eye on what America is and another on what it could become. He received a standing ovation for the speech. Terror alert. With fear of terrorism on the rise following a spate of suspected attacks, police oh, yeah, but what's wrong with you people? Of city to keep people oh. safe. Police official Anthony Pizzarelli had this to say to the media. We're doing a lot. Searching people on the subway. Uh, no liquids, gels, or creams in your bag. Metal detectors outside bean machine coffee shops. Increasing the length of lines at immigration. Cavity searching anyone coming into the country. Barking aggressive orders at random tourists on the street. Lots of overtime, early retirement, golf. on the street and feel safe. Getting frisked, I'm Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. This is Weasel News. WKTT, because in the war on terror, it's kill or be killed. WKTT 1066. Whole ass, dickhead. Conservatives finally have a real voice on the radio. It's the Richard Bastion Show. This country's going to hell. Sitting in this traffic all day drives me fucking crazy. But I'll tell you why. We did it for freedom and for valuable munitions contracts. They're sick to general. They dress up in their cute little bunny suits with holes cut in them for their penises to stick out and they pound each other's hindies making weird ass animal noises. Now, do you hear what public television has brought to you, America? Do you hear what's happened to the children? Heine pounding. Saving America from itself. It's the Richard Bastion Show. All right, America, we're back. We're back here. Bastion's buddy saluting you at the school. Buddies, today on the show, we're going to talk about why America is number one. Okay, without further ado, let's do what this show is all about and hit the phone lines. You're the people that make the show. All I do is make the money and spend it on facefuls of pharmaceuticals until I go deaf. Hello, caller. I just wanted to call in and say that I absolutely love the show. Well, I absolutely love that you think that, okay? Now, now you want to talk about what makes America number one, huh? We have a completely incompetent buffoon for a leader. We drive outrageously large gas guzzling my Batsu monstrosity. I know. Isn't it? It's fantastic, isn't it? What we've been given uh, from our forefathers is the freedom from thought. That, for my money, is real freedom. Knowing you're always right, that's real freedom. It's, it's like life is a party that's okay. never going to end, and, and you're not hosting Yellow. that party. You're just there, yeah. so you can you can you know go take a uh, take a dump on the coats. You can you know leave your beer bottle in the toilet if you want. It doesn't matter. It's not your house. Okay, we're just here to have a good time. Now, this is unless we make a serious mistake in the election. 
You know, think about it. Y you can't expect someone with no backbone to police the world. I hope and you got that's insurance. What these liberals don't seem to understand. I it's very clear. Drinking is a sin. Laying is a sin. Fisting. Yeah, you know, that's Traffic's a, a nightmare sin. today. Training, I'll try and get around it. Thanks. Yourself. Staying out of trouble, man? You better believe it, bro. Totally guilt-free. It's business, business, business with me. Yeah, why does that make me think you're about to ask me to do some dumb shit? Hey, what do you take me for? I'm a giver, not a taker. I don't need anything from you. I want to make a gift of my car to you. It's a special machine, but, you know, what you have done for me recently is more special. Thanks a lot, bro. You didn't need to do that, though. No, I did. Yeah, there's a little bit of fun for you in the glove compartment. I think you will enjoy it. All right, man. I'll check that out. Yeah, and thank you again.